All right, we are now recording. All right, what's up, everybody? Poorly Made Podcast, back in the groove, live, doing it and doing it well. <laughs> uh, Kavon, Mike, and Kamal here. We got a slight orientation change. Usually Mike is on the bottom and Kamal is next to me. Ew! Uh, <laughs> Wait, that's not the case? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I mean, I, I'm assuming it's going to record the way, it always records the way that it's on my screen, at least, so... Uh, Mike has been like when we post stuff on Instagram. Mike is usually in the middle. It kind of looked like like he's in charge, and then you and I yeah. look to the side. Yeah, that's what it is for me right now. I oh, I, that's not <laughs> moved up. <laughs> what do you say? Moving on up. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it comes out in in post. But um, yeah, I guess speaking of that, uh, by the time this episode comes out, we will have been live for two weeks. Uh, two episodes up on YouTube. We've got episodes up on Apple iTunes, uh, excuse me, Apple Podcasts, um, working on Spotify. We've got a Twitter account and Instagram account at Poorly Made Pod. Check it out. Follow us. Uh, you know, follow us on socials. Give us feedback. We'd love to hear back from you guys. Yeah, you got to put those links in the description, you know. <laughs> link in bio. Link in bio. Yeah. Yes, we're on that. I'd like to send envelopes. We have quite the mail deal for you. <laughs> no, we're not doing envelopes. <laughs> we're not send, We're not stock, uh, stuffing envelopes and sending them out. No, we, could, we could do the Postmates thing. What is it? Oh, Postmates deal? We don't have a Postmates ad sponsorship. Postmates. I'm, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're not talking back. Um, how how you guys been? Oh, sad. Not sad? Bad. Oh, I thought you said sad. I was like, finally, someone else. <laughs> not, just, <laughs> not just me. Oh, what well, has you so down in the dumps? Yes, yeah, it is. Uh, no, yeah. you know, just life, you know. Uh, we, we don't need to get into it. That's that not the time. <laughs> well, no, nah, this, is, this, is, this is the moment, right? <laughs> this is uh, not the time. <laughs> now is not the time for why I'm sad. That'll be another segment that we do in the future. Why, why come on sad? Why, why are you the way you are right now? Just one word. Just why? Describe it all. Because it's not going to let us go in depth. Just give us one word. One Maybe. word. I don't know, seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, honestly, the first word that came to mind was maple syrup, but that's not one word. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to dedication. Ooh. Dedication. Ooh, yeah. Deep, right? Ooh, what does it mean? What's he We're talking about? We're going to so What's many different mean? directions. What does right? that mean? Like, ooh, oh, boy. Ooh, dedication to self, dedication to others. What does it ooh. mean? Let's stop mm-hmm. doing this now, please. <laughs> have to tune in. Have to tune in for the full episode of Why Kavon Sad. Okay, no. Um, all right, so Kamal, you had mentioned uh, something I thought was pretty interesting. A uh, little hot news. No, it's not hot anymore. Is it hot? Hot girl. It's still hot. hot girl. It's... Still hot girl. Summer. Uh, Megan the Stallion got shot by Tory Lanez. Uh, Allegedly. I okay. You see that. I mean, okay, I'm going to hand it over to you once you throw it allegedly in there. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it's been in the news for what? It's been, what, two? Is it three? I don't know. Time doesn't make sense anymore since okay. you're stuck in the house. But it's been a couple, a few weeks now. Um, so par- apparently there was an, an incident between rappers Meg Thee Stallion and rapper, singer Tory Lanez, where allegedly... Um, Tory Lane shot Meg Thee Stallion in her feet. Um, that's the general gist of it. I mean, they're supposedly there, um, and now there's been, uh, the internet's kind of gone crazy about it. Uh, and Meg Thee Stallion recently came out. Originally, she was pretty silent on the matter. Um, and now she recently came out, I think she did a video um, describing her like her feelings regarding her disappointment, basically with other with people online. Um, the internet and she, has been treating her horribly. Yeah, are, and are she, we and talking she, about prize prize horses here? What, what are we talking about? <laughs> this is Tory Lane. Um, what is, that it, was, Canadian? Is, that, is that where you guys go bowling? Like, what is that? <laughs> Wow, Mike, are you sure? Mike, you sure you're a fan of hip hop? 
I'm a hip hop fan. I know who Meg the Stallion is. Meg, is it Meg? Megan, Meg. I Megan. Know, Meg. How, how close <laughs> you guys are? They're both they're interchangeable. Wait, but who? Um, uh, was he Canadian rapper singer? He, I think he was friends with Drake. Yeah, is friends with former, Drake, right? former, former Drake beefer, uh, Toronto yeah, they, rapper, singer, yeah, songwriter. Right. Yeah. Um, he's had a, he has a, I'm sure he's had, he's had a few hits that I, I'm sure you recognize Mike, but, um, long story short, he, uh, yeah, that's the general gist about him. Like, he's not that great. He has a growing he's talented. following. He was, oh, I didn't say he wasn't talented. I just said he wasn't that great. <laughs> he's, he's definitely on the rise. He's on the rise. Yeah. And he, 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 um, <laughs> he, he balances that, um, He's like he's like in that Drake lane where it's like R and B or is it rap like and like people really are on that wave right now that R and B poppy rap wave um, and his fan base has been growing. He had that hit with T Pain recently that was like on the radio a lot, but I don't think that song's playing that much now because he's shooting mm-hmm. women in the leg. I never allegedly. Like, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> as long as you're the one that keeps saying allegedly, she has the wounds. I mean, she seems pretty sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with Megan. Oh, I, I actually didn't look at the the wounds. Uh, I didn't look at that. Like the photos are there. I didn't look at the photos. But yeah, so I think the, the my general interest about this has been, I think my general disappointment in the state of the world and humanity, because this reaction has exposed like a lot of sad, embarrassing truths about the world, about the way people think and treat others, particularly celebrities and particularly black women. Mm. Uh, it's just been crazy. I, like, I've seen uh, stuff online <laughs> who like said, like, what did you expect? Like, he, like based on like the kind of music he makes, like what kind, what did you expect? I was like, wait, so you're saying because he made a kind of music that you wouldn't be, should be surprised when he's like violently shoots you. But I mean, yeah, I don't listen to, up. I don't listen to Tory Lanez like a lot. I've heard maybe one or two albums and not like recent stuff. But mm-hmm. isn't his music pretty like, I don't want to say soft, but like, like radio friendly. But like he's not gangster yeah, rap. Not like, gangster. Like, like, but I mean, it's like the typical. I don't know, like the. The get money, fuck your bitch, like I'm still your girl, right. yada yada. Like yeah, the famous mix of like R and B, like yeah, like I don't like I don't All know. Right, hold on. For for Mike and everyone else who doesn't know who Tory Lanez is, let's look up. Tory Lane's top hits. He's also short. The first thing that comes up is Tory Lane's height. That's, that's yeah. Is that cause you said that is that cause you're talking to me? What? No. <laughs> you are also short. <laughs> you and Tory Lanez are, are, are the same height. Uh, oh, so okay. Is this man related to Tiger? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Tiger's think cousin so. is the guy from Gym Class Heroes. What was his name? Travis? The, the, the lead? Uh, the oh, lead Travis singer, M- M- something. M- Travis McGee? Travis McGrath. No. Travis McGrath. Those all sound like BMX writers, Travis. McGee, but Travis. he has some kind of name with that. I don't remember. But yeah, uh, but yeah, that that's Tiger's cousin. Okay. Fun fact. He, okay, he so learn something every day. Yes, uh, Tiger, <laughs> not Tiger. Tory Lane, get back on track. Tory Lane's top hits. Say it. Uh, that's the one. You're gonna have to do more than just say it. You're gonna have to do more than just prove it, like that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'm Okay, I don't know if that's. I, I, don't, know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, uh, he's got <laughs> Jerry Sprunger. Is that like oh, a? Wow. Is that like a T Pain thing? I don't know. Uh, we've got the Take. Broken a minute, stupid again. I've honestly never heard any of these songs. I really don't think Mike is going to get any better <laughs> yeah, picture we're not. by you describing the title. <laughs> we're doing terrible job. Oh, well, oh. well, until you said stupid. Again, <laughs> that was I was, I was lost, but now right. I'm I'm found. Oh, stupid again! You really relate to that one. That really got me. Yeah, but, uh, I don't even know. Nah, all right. So, 
but like generally, Mike, let me, I, that, well, who he really is, I mean, it's not too important. Um, like I said, music, uh, singer, rapper, he's short, um, which is, I, I think that kind of has played a part in it because people online have been descri- discussing the fact that uh, Meg Stallion is pretty oh. tall. Well, he's taller than him. I don't know exactly. We can somebody Google she's, that. Real she's, quick. she's most likely taller than him. I feel like Meg is like five ten. Yeah, she's a, a tall, leggy woman, and apparent. And I've heard people like try to excuse it by saying that, like, well, look how big she is. So, like, wow. if, if she, if she, if they were in a fight or something, and she, like she was throwing, if she was hitting him or like striking him or something he could have thought his life was in danger and that's why he resorted to using the gun. I was like, wow, really guys? That's trash. Yeah. Apparently, well, the internet says she's 5'10". Yeah. So I think Tory Lanez Lanez comes up as 5'3". Yeah. 5'3", 5'2", something like that. So he's short. So that's, that's an excuse I've heard. Um, I've also heard, well, was also some other embarrassing things I've heard um that like she's either like it's known or she's like rapped about getting like being physical with exes in the past mm-hmm. so yeah, like I saw that. so they're like, they're just justifying it with really dumb reasons yeah justifying mm-hmm. it like people saying i know um like well mostly like celebrities and a lot of male celebrities have been saying that like they know him so like they need to hear from him then I'm I'm just thinking like what like what justification like what tell me what like what reason would make you feel okay with him doing that? If someone, th- yeah. does anyone know why they're saying that he shot her? Like, like is I there don't know. is there a reason why she, a gun was pulled out? I don't know. Supposedly, I think supposedly he was he he was in a car with her her best one of her best friends and like his bodyguard, either the bodyguard had a gun, mm-hmm. he had a gun, or they both did. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. We don't, we won't know the exact. So it was a Plaxico situation. No, well, see, he <laughs> shot, he shot her. Like on purpose though. How do you shoot someone in both feet by accident? Plaxico Burris shot himself in the leg by accident. Once <laughs> by accident. <laughs> Once by accident. He so shot... she was shot twice. Yeah, but that's just—he must have been on coke. Like my, that's coke behavior. My, um, my I've experience. never held a gun in my life. And, Something and someone I know suggested. That I wouldn't shoot myself if I had. <laughs> someone like um, a friend was talking to me about this, and they were saying that like likely they imagined it being some situation where they were like they were arguing, and like he was trying to like like trying to be slick. And was like, you know how they do in the movies? They like they shoot at the the people's feet to like make them dance, mm-hmm. and that like they got into an argument, and like he was trying to I don't know, scare her or like oh, so mess he was with on coke, mess with her. I don't know. It's possible drug, but that's make gun me, violence. There has to have been drugs involved for him to, to be me, that stupid. You're to me, the just. Lanes. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. You're Tory Lanez and you're gonna shoot Meg the Stallion in the foot twice? Yeah, like, like, like get your I mean, shit together, man. I don't know. Like at that point, you're trying to screw your life up. Yeah, I guess. So. I don't even we'll, understand. We'll, I don't we'll understand see what why he would have a gun. Like you're well, a, a lot of a lot of celebrities, particularly um, artists and and hip hop and R and B, have guns. You'd be surprised. A lot of them do. Um, or they know people, or they have people that have guns. So like around them, yeah. That means they have guns around. They have guns by 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 proxy association. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like I said, the, that's, what the big, that's what it's called. <laughs> GBP gun by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> that's nah. that you could get hired for that. Right. That's part of their like social media team. <laughs> mm. Nah, just the just the 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 worst. The, it's just been like disappointing, <laughs> like. I feel that like no matter what the circumstances were, it is not justified. And mm-hmm. the fact that like all these excuses are being made, like it kind of demonstrates that like societal ill that we seem to have with like women being victims of 
various forms of assault and protecting them and finding like justice for them. Right. Because like if it's if it's so hard to like condemn someone who was most definitely in the wrong, no matter what, unless she also had a gun and like they were shooting it out and she's just a terrible shot and he was like oh i'm i gotta disarm her but i can't kill her so let me shoot her in both her feet and he was able to disarm her that way unless that's the story i hope no, that was the story that, that would, would be way cooler my day. That, would that, would, my day. that would make all this so much more like better to accept but like yeah it's just it's disappointing and i also think what do you call it i also think she kind of did herself a little bit of a disservice um, I don't know what the legal ram, what they're doing legally in terms of the situation, but mm -hmm. in getting her to, in getting her to just like admit what happened instead of letting the internet kind of run with it and make rumors and kind of like play Twitter detective, it would have yeah, been yeah. But better. it's like there's legal stuff involved. Like you can't just put all the information on the internet. Like I feel like yeah. As as consumers of like celebrity news, we're like, why don't we know all the details right away? Like, yeah. These people are tied up. Like there's going to be cases and investigations. Like you can't expect yeah. these people to just throw all I the information that. out. I want yeah, the I guess I on my desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nine a.m. Mike, we're, Mike we're, if, it, if this ever goes to court, we're going to leak. We're going to. Um, <laughs> We're gonna link you all the like the the court documents about it, so you get yeah, a full. Please do. I want the I want the appellate courts. I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want the I want the caliber that he used. Yeah. I want his real name because it's definitely not Tory. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I don't know. But but apparently the whole story was that like the a lot of the basis for it was the fact that they were supposedly involved. Like they were dating or see that that was my next thing. That was my whatever. next thing. Yes, perfect segue. Because imagine that was their first date. <laughs> if you shot someone on your first date, what kind of impression are you trying to leave? No, so yeah, it's like the best Tinder story ever. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the worst? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, depending yeah. on your 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 status within that whole situation. But do you do you continue talking slash dating to this person after they've shot you in the foot? Yeah, in order to get, no. to get the money they owe you in the lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. if if I'm Tori and like I somehow she somehow like would forgive me for it, I would still date her. But like, that's very true. There is, if you're, if, there if is you're no in Tori's way. situation, no, but, she at, would be. but I would not be comfortable dating somebody I shot in the foot. How do you do that every Christmas? I don't know. <laughs> Every Christmas. Sorry, Every Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> well, no, you you apologize once and then you move on. You never bring it up again. You never bring it up again. Yeah, except all the never... times when she's limping with you through the parking lot. Like <laughs> you never bring up feet or guns or legs. Right. Or... That totally yeah, removes thing. foot fetishes from the relationship. Yeah, yeah. None of that. Nah, you never talk about you shoes lick your gun wound, like or <laughs> socks or anything like that. Yeah. But um, it's this funny. episode is gonna get flagged for so many reasons. Just like Let foot fetishes, flagged. gunplay, uh, Flag it you up. know, just flagging, but like flag let's just play. just so this is said, so we can make it clear. We do not, we do not think this is. It's funny. Um, no, it's him, not funny at all. Him shooting her. No, I and that, we don't. Actually. We we don't condone any of this. Like and like we said, there's really no reason for any of this. But um. It's funny, like that that they possibly were involved romantically, because um, I had I saw online recently. Uh, I, I don't know if it was a, a serious post or it was a meme that was talking about like the timeline for that um that like it was like I guess one of these like male like dating advice things I don't know profiles sounds it problematic but okay it was basically giving like yeah, a yeah, sounds, yeah, sounds oxymoronic male <laughs> dating advice <laughs> I don't know those are those a lot of those are out there online stuff like that about men I don't know being date alphas and dating and stuff like that yeah I know what you're talking about but long story short it was a post saying that like the time the appropriate timeline for a man um like romantically involved with a woman is like i think it was it was like 11 years in total it was like i think it was two years talking 
three years dating. Let me see if my math is right. Uh, I think said, was it five years in a relationship? Which year That's do you, where, which year do you shoot them in the foot? Right. <laughs> and then it, and then it said, um, and then like a year's engagement or something like that. Wait, wait. So this is eleven years before you get married. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> That's, so I mean, dead by the time I'm married. <laughs> so, so it's funny because my my um, my lady showed this to me, and uh-huh. and I, and I've mentioned it to other like a couple other female friends, and they all seem to have the large the same issue, which is like those first two things. Well, the whole well the whole thing generally, but the primarily the like two to three years talking and then the additional two three years dating Mm -hmm. and they found that absolutely absurd and i was thinking to myself i was like wait like what is i was like i what is talking and dating nowadays okay wait before we get into what you just said because that's a great question what are are the women that you're asking are they upset that those are two different things or are they just upset of the duration i think or both both they were like that's um two years to be talking to some dude is insane mm-hmm. um shouldn't it matter yeah. like when when you start like if you're like six yeah, it's, and then, yeah like you're right on schedule but like if you're <laughs> Um, but like it was you're, you're a little late to the party like but it was yeah it was basically up into a quarter a quarter month <laughs> like whatever yeah it was like the whole idea like the, the the talking dating thing i think was like the the biggest issue and i was i just i thought it was interesting because i was like the fact that talking is its own like category category now is so it's so weird to i knew me. people like that i knew like i knew people that spoke like that that used talking as a uh, a stage in relationship development yeah, yeah that's like, what does that even mean like we're we would be talking from the beginning like but i think <laughs> yeah. what it means is i think what it means is i take it to mean is like someone that you are have expressed that you're romantically interested in and the right. talking aspect is is the wooing them talking is just another it's just a uh, modern term for wooing. I don't. I, I see I that. Disagree. I disagree. I disagree also. I disagree too. Come on, no. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Give it back yeah. to me. R.P. Right. Pop Smoke. R.P. Pop Smoke. Right. The woo. <laughs> so, well, for one, I feel like talking has been like a term being used. I think for like most of our adult lives, right? It's been around that. that it's long, been around. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So my my impression of it has been that talking is like the is usually a term when uh like a very non-committal term or stage of Mm -hmm. like romantic where you are communicating with with someone and potentially you guys are hanging out slap um not even hanging out that you guys are like sexually involved in some capacity <laughs> yes so okay but, so i'm gonna make it very simple but there's no there's no commit- i disagree no I disagree. no no look i i'm i'm with kamal on this and i want to see if he goes the same way with me on this too so okay. talking is like i fuck Both with you ways. right dating i fuck with you we are we're mutually you mean like i fuck with no, you no. like i fuck with Phys- you physically and like- mentally physically and mentally like we're <laughs> we're interested in each other right in both stages you're like there's interest here on some level it's mutual we both know it right the difference is what kamal's saying is like that commitment level is like am i going to say am i going to claim this person publicly if you're if you're just talking like no we just talk we we hang out we do our thing we have a good time if you're dating it's like this and it doesn't even mean mutually dating it just means like in public i i will tell this person tell my friends about this person or my sibling might know about this person when you're dating someone when you're just talking super casual it could go either way it could last it could be it could be like that get in, gets into like side pieces or like we're just talking it's casual like we're not committed to each mm. other we're not telling other people about each other mm-hmm. but i think it's different from what you said mike because it's not necessarily the woo 
aspect of it because it's like I don't even really care if this goes to that next level for right yeah. now it's just like we're chilling yeah. it's a vibe as the kids would say as it's the kids a vibe, it's a vibe. <laughs> I don't know I, I, my final thing on it would be that excuse me I, I disagree I disagree I think talking is synonymous with like um, like we're, we're in talk like we're in, <laughs> we're in talks to acquire Microsoft. <laughs> like, right. like we're we're in talks. I think I agree with you guys. I think definitely that the people who are talking could be like having having intercourse to be <laughs> to be straight up. Um, yeah. But I I don't think that everybody that is necessarily having sex with each other hooking up is talking. Like that's no, that's a, like, that's a, a that that's a. a a minor point like that that could be it could it doesn't it doesn't describe everybody who's talking no but like if you like but generally if you are just casually hanging out casually um communicating and having sex but you guys aren't really um claiming or expressing like like Kavan saying like public interest in one another or that you're seeing one another to any capacity then like talking is always that's always the the term being used here's here's how you know if someone's talking versus if someone is dating if you go on someone if you're on a date right and you post an instagram picture from your date if you're dating and you take that picture you see like their hands you see their drink you know there's another person there you don't see their face because you're not in a relationship yet but you're dating so it's okay that people know you're dating but we don't want to know who it is yet because it's not official if you're just talking and you're on a date it's just your plate it's just your drink you don't see anyone else there you're just talking and you're out and maybe someone else took the picture of you you don't know if that person wasn't pit- tagged with the photo cred yeah. we don't know who that person is they exist can i just know say can i just say that if That's you were point. on a date with somebody and you take a picture not fully of their face but their hand is involved in the photo mm-hmm. you're way too self-involved like you just <laughs> you just took it to another level. You're wait, like, I want people to know I'm talking to somebody. Wait, but I don't want to think make them think I'm waiting. Mike, that is just, you're literally that is describing like, that's the culture of this the is culture exactly of the most is. people today. Yes, like you do realize that people take pictures of the food that they're eating at restaurants. Yes, like like <laughs> the ideas of the deer the like the whole like popular culture today is about capturing like eat like big small monotonous moments in your life for Mm -hmm. other people to consume that's that's been the culture for a decade plus at this point so that can't you that can't really surprise you but like Uh, when i was was having this conversation about this meme um i was telling her because i was saying a part of the talking thing is that like you would be talking to multiple people at a time Mm -hmm. and i actually she kind of understood when I said this and, but kind of, but she didn't like it. I said, honestly, it wouldn't be the like two years for talking. That's excessive. That's another said, thing we need to talk you about. Said, you said, you said that you see, she agreed, but I was saying to her, if you're talking to multiple people, then two years, a, a two year span of that, mm-hmm. I was like, all right, maybe it defeats the whole purpose. Maybe maybe two years is too much. Here's a situation where 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 two years is is acceptable to me. Okay, let's say we're mutual friends. We're in a friend group. We see each other. We have each other's number. And I'm dating and single. This person is dating and single. Right. Let's say we just know each other for that period of time, and like maybe we flirt. Maybe when we hang out like we give each other special attention but when we're not together there's you know we're talking to other people like if let's say we just are in the same circles and seeing each other over a two-year span i could i could see that because like that's how relationships like can come about like you're just in the same circle and you see the same person over a long period of time you get to know each other slowly that's like talking for two years you know but like if you're like this i've been talking to one person that i've met on tinder for two years that's crazy to me yeah and that's but that's a, that's another thing i was talking about because like i feel like that's dedication when, <laughs> <Yes>. I, <laughs> and that's I, why i'm sad <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. I was saying i was telling her i feel like that 
the number of people that you're involved with affects like I think how long that period is acceptable Mm -hmm. and like when that line between talking and dating becomes very blurred because I'm saying like if you're because like let's say let's just say traditionally like dating is we the all-encompassing thing where you're hanging out and you're seeing different people you may even be sleeping with other people Mm -hmm. like that that all should be that's all generally what used to be or may still be encompassed in in dating the wooing like you were saying mike that's all in the dating um like funny funny enough for for me it's funny because when i was first seeing my girl um we were hanging out for a good while and like I would, when you say hanging out, were you talking or were you dating? She's listening. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's, yeah, choose your words. Choose your words wisely. I'm, I have nothing to hide. The, it's hard to describe because, like, I guess we were we were talking, but we were only talking to each other. Mm-hmm. But like, I wasn't talking to anyone else at the time. So like, what uh, was it? <laughs> go ahead we'll oh. keep it going <laughs> what is that <laughs> you know, that's your girlfriend at the door she's like what <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that's <laughs> we were talking for- <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> little do you know we're live streaming this <laughs> no yeah. oh my go, god go, can, <laughs> can you go can you go get the door before someone breaks <laughs> in your house all right, all right i'll be back guys <laughs> Okay, but like, okay, Mike, I see what he's saying, like, where you can talk to someone for a period of time, but talking to somebody for two <laughs> years. Okay. Oh, wait, who is? No, I think, yeah, we need to hear this. <laughs> Delivery. We should do that, like, one episode, like, I'll just send, like, a stripper to his house, <laughs> and they'll knock on the door, and it'll just be like, why are there six strippers outside of my house? And it's like, they start doing, like, a conga line or something, and, and that would be amazing. I think we should send him a really inconvenient gift. <laughs> <laughs> like 16 boxes of just like pineapples. Or a second couch. No, I didn't order for it. No, he did. Oh, I just not like taken. Oh, All, right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Who was I'm, it? I'm back. All right. That was that was the I guess Amazon some delivery. I didn't even see they left it. Uh, yeah, someone just came in the mail. They were aggressive. Uh, it sounded like like yeah, a glass a glass window broke or something. Like, it's a big yeah, it's like, a big package. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> is it now? <laughs> That's what she said. His his, his blow up uh, swim toy toy game. <laughs> Possibly, who knows? But uh, what was I doing? I was, oh, I was shooting myself in the foot, describing the early start yes, of my describe- relationship. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm shooting myself in the foot. <laughs> but what a oh, callback! Well done. Yeah, wow. You just talk about full circle. <laughs> but wow. yeah, so we were we were talk we were only talking to each other really at the time. Mm-hmm. So like that 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 period between like that line between talking and dating was like really blurred but funny enough like i we were i could it's hard to describe but like we were at a period where i was like i knew her um a few of her like good good female friends and we like we would hang out like maybe grab drinks or grab a bite to eat with like me her and like some of her other friends mm-hmm. and her her friends would ask me um oh are is she, are you her i think yeah either they ask are we dating no they would ask um are we am i her boyfriend mm, interesting and you know what that tells me they already had an answer from her they just wanted to hear what you were going to say absolutely. but like but the thing is she already she are, <laughs> yeah. she always she always knew what my answer was so and like my answer at the time when when they were the access that no we're just we're just dating mm-hmm. at the time because that's that's the stage we were at 
and for uh, like how, how for reference like how deep into your relationship or like was this like how long had you known her at this point shoot mm, once again this is gonna be another knock at the door yeah, 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 yeah. i could hear her stomping <laughs> down the hallway right now <laughs> Roughly, Can roughly. I just say, she got she got the pistol ready and everything. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe six months in. Okay, but not two know. years. That's all I wanted it's to know. No, normal, no, normal. it wasn't. We definitely weren't. Our our relationship wasn't uh, by that meme at all. No, nah. mm-hmm. but like all during this time, like I was really into her, so I was never dating around or talking to nice anyone. Safe. Nice. Yeah, you nice. see? see like that. Right, there you go. But, but it's the case. So it's the case. So like almost lost them for a second. So it's for me it's something it would be hard to like picture how it went, like where the the transition happened between from like one phase to the other because like we were lar- we were basically monogamous the entire time. Um but like generally in the d- dating um point standpoint of it like that would be the period where i would i would say, say it'd be acceptable that you could see other people right mm-hmm. like traditionally like if we when we were dating i think it would have it would have been fair if i was talking if i was speaking with someone else romantically and possibly hanging out with them romantically. He had to and, change and the word. The you see, he had to change the word. Yeah. Speaking with somebody Yeah, else. you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> but yeah, but talking, I feel like those, that period would have been meant for that. Like generally when you say like I'm dating around, it's like I'm going on, like I'm not, I'm single, so I'm going to hang out and I'm going to go on dates with, with people mm-hmm. and like, see who I like. Can I just make an important distinction? Oh, go ahead. Come on. No, no, no. You go. You go. You go. No. Can I just make an important distinction here? This is, this may be my final point on this. I, I appreciate your guys' input. My belief, okay, because I believe in, in, in the power of words. Words mean something, okay? Mm-hmm. We make the meaning, but they mean something. I think that you, I, I think, Kamal, your, your, example of talking with your girl is the like the primary example of what it means to be talking to somebody because i think talking means that it i think talking is kind of like having like an inside joke with somebody in a way like like people know you're like you're involved with this person but like they don't know to what extent the talking Mm -hmm. is what's between you guys like the talking is the, like the you know, we, we're, we're involving a romantic element. And so I don't believe that, like, I, I, I was averse to t- like the use of talking at, at one point, but now I, I do believe in it. I believe that you can't be talking to somebody and still be like, you know, oh, like chatting with other girls on the side. I think if you're talking to one person, that in and of itself means that you are like dedicated to them just to bring it back one more time <laughs> that means in some way there's some dedication that means you you said okay now we're, we're talking like like again just to bring it back to like making a deal like you're 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 like talking with them like Mike, you're, like some kind of like you know you're what in you the minority said, here yeah what you just said is beautiful and i love it <laughs> okay <laughs> right <laughs> What you just said is exactly what I want, and it's exactly why I'm sad because I don't have that. Because oh, for most people, that 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 talking is not that like that. I love the whole inside joke like aspect of it. That's that's key. That's crucial. But people that are talking are also talking to other people. Like yeah, I know they're not. In the, but that's, that's what gets that's what ruins it though. Yeah, it is. That's, it is. That's, that's why that. people suck at relationships. Because yeah. like no one's ever like out front with like what's actually happening to like. You just say what you a, want. If you want to talk know. to other people, you're not talking to that person. I don't know. You're talking. It's, you're, you're you know you're, you're chatty. You're chatty chatty. <laughs> <laughs> but like we said, it, it's a it's a the idea like the the non-committal aspect of it, because um, like it is dating. What most people would consider an uh, aspect of dating 
is now what a lot of talking is like talking like dating around is talking now this very non-committal mm. part yeah you're probably right mike mike was um kavon was right in saying that like there's more of a like uh secretive like non-exclusive non like uh possessive well people still get super possessive no matter what yeah. people are people, crazy well, it's a well just because because feelings get resol resolved but like there's still like often a non-committal thing um where people don't want to claim each other because they don't want to be tied down to it um it's i don't know it, it's just i guess it's just an aspect of the way our, the culture is today right uh yeah i yeah, mean i think as as we get like more cash. yeah we get more casual we get more like people are just more sexually liberated and open like yeah it's, it's and like, more access to one another right um, yeah the world's getting smaller in a sense with you know the tinders and the swipe rights and all yeah. that stuff so hopefully they're wearing a mask while they're you know stopping. they're not <laughs> yeah so like the the dating aspect of it is like dating has changed is like there's a lot less form i guess a lot less formal i would think so yeah. because, but do you guys really um, believe well, that um, like what do you really believe that dating has changed like I, I like I know we have these perceptions of like the medium like 150 years. The ago. medium has changed, yeah. but no, the, the the fundamentals of it are still the same. Well, I mean, like not 150 years ago, because like uh, now we have like before there were like dowries and like you were trading your daughters for That's cattle true. and land mm -hmm. and marrying them in for mm -hmm. unions between now families you're just and for tw you know Instagram life. No. maybe but like in that in that aspect but like i would say in like the modern times i would say like in the last let's 50 say years. 100 years even 100 i mean if, i think even yeah depending yeah. on where you are in the since world the, but like since the 1900s I don't, I don't think like i think but no even think about like if you go back to like maybe the 50s or the 40s where like dating was very like uh, yeah there, there was a lot more more yeah, there's a lot fun. more formality to it. Yeah, like the stuff about like going steady and asking for right. like the person's hands. But there were still, but even during that time, there were still people's like oh, um, young people still sleeping around. There were yeah, still oh, yeah, that was definitely happening. Yeah, yeah, so like now we just don't care. <laughs> yeah, the, like that formal part of it. I don't know. Maybe that like yeah, that part of it has um, died off. Mm. But like the still the part like the general like interaction of it the general mechanics of it is still the same i think yeah it's like just I, it's just you could just but you know 100 years ago or 80 years ago you weren't able to like you weren't able to reach the same like kind of like audience like where you know, now you can you could talk you could talk to somebody you could talk to somebody like 50 miles away like, like yeah. that's not that wasn't happening back then like you know you talk to people in your high school your town like you want to wait to school or something like that like that's how you know that's the social group yeah. that you had i think largely at least like western and like america um like the influence for a large i think the influence of the the family on your dating life has changed like has sub subsided a lot and that's kind of changed the most so like their influence so now you're not going through parents or um even though like parents can still be like strict and stuff about someone's dating life like the the formality of it has like changed faded away yeah mm. um yeah so that's 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 interesting uh i, I just wanted to say one last thing and then we can like move on but like mm -hmm. it imagine like at my big old age right like we're all 28 if it took me 11 years to just marry someone like kids are out of the equation at this point like i'm 28 for 11, 11 years why i mean not that they're out of the equation i guess that the wonders of te technology not, are not if you date a 15 year old <laughs> <laughs> mike oh uh, uh, another oh one yeah. All right, we're getting shut down early. Um, yeah, I swear. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke. All right. We know. But like, all right, but let's say th this eliminates dating for old people. Like, old people can't date. <laughs> like, you just have what? to. Like, wait. if you're 50 oh, and you wait that, 11 years. By that timeline? 
Yeah, that timeline is crazy. Know, but that is based around children. But that's, I mean, yeah, you're right. Exactly. Just, and like, and also the it being based around marriage is another is another possible yeah, um, mistake. Wait, what was the last marriage. part of that? What was the last part of that eleven year run? It was, like, I think it was like, like I said, it was like I think it was like five years in a relationship, and then I think it was like a year to plan the like a year after the to engagement. planning the engagement. That's crazy. The wedding, the insemination. <laughs> yeah, no, that's wild. <laughs> there, there's no situation in which an eleven year like be build up to just being engaged i don't know i mean i, I, know, I, know, I know people I, do it but like yeah i was gonna say i know somebody who did, it's not exactly 11 years but i mean it was definitely a law lo- a, a long and luxurious well luxurious is kind of I don't know, <laughs> luxurious right word. probably like you know conflict thing but <laughs> i mean people have it long was a lead on though long relationships yes but i i, I i'm long engaged at all Long engagements, that's a, that's a whole other thing. I don't know if I could yeah. deal with that. But, um, I don't know. Interesting. The only reason Very would be, I think the only pure reason to extend an engagement would be financial. Like, you know, you want to get married, you just have to wait until you can, like, save some money. Yeah, I guess. Some people just also, people like, they're also afraid to even, like, to take that, that final step and actually, like, do it. So, like, yeah. I don't know. Speaking just, of uh, final steps, I don't have a good transition. I just wanted to talk about <laughs> um, life for, like, how do you think we would handle being a student during COVID, like going back to school? So by the time this comes out, uh, pretty much everybody will be back in school. And like, I know, like, I have cousins that are doing like three days in school, two days online. I know some places are doing it all online. And it's crazy to me. Like if I was in, like if you're in high school, if you're a senior and you're doing school online, do you get like a, like a COVID, COVID degree? Like, is there like a asterisk on your degree? Like, does it change anything? Like, I, I don't know. think I, I don't think I can handle it. I, at all. I, what, I, don't I just what's like the think difference? we lucked out. I don't, know. I don't like, think. The, what's the, what's the difference? What's the I, like, difference? I, I deal with, I deal with this all day long. I, what is, what is the difference? You're still, you're still, whether you're seeing your, your instructor, your no. teacher, in no. person, <laughs> no. or on the computer, what is the difference? Wait, are you, wait, there's, because I'm not sure, there might be two different questions being asked. Come on, are you saying what's, like, like, can you, like, imagine, like, the difference for, like, like, like educational-wise or, like, the experience? Because, like... Oh, no, no, no. Not, not edu- I don't care about the education. I'm talking about the developmental <laughs> oh, yeah. growth. I'm talking about oh. the social experiences. Oh, yeah. Talk- I, feel, like, I feel bad for yeah. people in school now. Yeah, I feel really bad. Like, like yeah, I was now. miserable. Yeah, it, it sucks. If, like, if you had... And I don't to, even yeah. like people. Like, but just having to be in my house, like, yeah. especially if your parents work at home, like, that would be, like... Yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there, there are a lot of experience you get on like the daily experience of going to a class, being with teachers. I think it's in, I think it's an interesting and I think it's still like a valuable experience to have like those interactions in like, in like your early, middle and high school. I learned how to be invisible in high school. Like facts, you can't be invisible. How would, how would I do that on the internet? I have to, exactly. I have to zoom. I have to call in to the Zoom meeting. Right. There's Mike. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I think it's. I think everybody it's, knows that kid with the with the bad haircut and he's short and fat. He's sweaty. <laughs> it's an interesting experience to have now. I don't. I just. I feel like the the social ramifications <clears throat> could be like. Wow. I mean, I don't know how long this is gonna last. But yeah. imagine, imagine being already an antisocial person and you don't have to associate with any other human being outside of your immediate family for a whole school year. And then like for me, even going back to work, and I'm sure like a lot of people are having this issue if they have to go back to work or if they just go into like the supermarket, when you don't see people or interact with people for an extended period of time, it's like, it's jarring. And then just like our brains aren't fully developed at, you know, be earlier than 18 years old. I don't even know when that happens. But like, 24. I, yeah, so like, I don't even, I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking about like what that's going to be like for the people that aren't going back to school and for this like prolonged period of time. 
and and could we do you think you would come out the same do you think you would come out the same like the same person no probably not i don't think it's yeah i don't think it's drastic as 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 drastic as you're you're like you're alluding to but i i I think if it was nah if it was all digit if it was all like um remote and like especially like if like you were early on like in like middle school and stuff like that yeah you would it would drastically like affect how you like develop. Yeah, two years in middle school, that would be that would. Yeah, would like or freak. even or even I would be earlier. a freak by now. I'm already a freak, so like right. I would be a freak. Oh man, see, <laughs> see, Mike needed more social interaction. Like with all, yeah. the, with all the interaction he got, he still ended up like this. No wonder why I love the idea of being remote. Like I, our I, education I system failed students. him again. Like, God damn yeah. it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. Those I don't, morning, those morning breakfasts that we had yeah what would you be without that that time that was your time to shine i would be very hungry (laughs) (laughs) no you'd be at home you have the luxury of a a home-cooked meal every i mean depending on your home situation what if the parents had to go to work still you know they could pick some they could sign up before they leave i don't know i there was a me not really a meme but like just a picture of a, a a young parent uh, no, the parent, a parent of a young child who was doing like online learning, and she had literally the belt in her hand. And for any, I don't know if white parents beat their kids in 2020, but like any Caribbean parents or like black parents that definitely beat their kids. Like, imagine me going through that. Like the fear. I already have social anxiety as a, as a young child. If I'm on the computer and my mom's next to me with a belt in hand because I don't know the answer, like that's fucked. <laughs> like I can't deal with that type of pressure. <laughs> it's, it was already bad enough, and now I've got the threat yeah. of my mom, social anxiety. Like this is crazy. Yeah. I don't know if I'm coming out the other side. I'm dropping out. My I'm my a, thing about uh, the the whole the whole being at home for kids or for students is that they they keep telling me or they keep saying like oh you know once covid's over this is my plan i'm just like i don't know if you realize like it's not just gonna end one day like it's not like static like that like it's it's gonna have it's gonna have like you know uh repercussions and and waves throughout you know the next decade like there's not gonna be just a time where it's just like oh that's it like now you can hug your friends like <laughs> it's never gonna be like that so like, yeah it's that's the most disappointing for me like they're just they think that this is just like a, i mean it is a phase in a way but it's not like just like point a to point b like mm-hmm. you like this is a, a a lifestyle change like you're gonna have the 12 step program right now yeah. But I would argue, like I know you're saying but, that kids would come out, like come out fucked up. I would argue that the, especially teenagers, because like research shows shows that that the teenagers are very adaptive. Um, mm-hmm. I think that some of them could that come out even better. I think they they're gonna use this time as a as a time to um, to learn things that they normally would would maybe not maybe ignore maybe maybe they just wouldn't be exposed to i i have hope like i have hope that they'll use it like because a lot of people look at teenagers normally like <laughs> crappy yeah i know you guys don't just I, I know you disagree but you know what what is you what is what? hope just, wait, like, <laughs> do you see Am what's I being going really white right now <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of Fortnite. okay there's gonna be a lot of gulag and, and uh what is that game yeah, Call of Duty. You can like, only that, do that's that what they're doing so <laughs> Like you, that's you what's happening. Right isn't that like German? Like wasn't that like Russian <laughs> stuff? No, I think yeah, it's called. It, I think I don't know what Russian, language it is. Russians but. had the gulags, right? Oh, that's right. Whatever. Yeah, I don't right. even play Call of Duty. I just I'm on the. But uh, <laughs> much. but uh, I don't even play Call of Duty. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I think Mike. I think you're a Maybe little bit too white. optimistic about Maybe like it's the whiteness in me. How they'll <laughs> how they'll they'll take it. I don't know. I feel like. There's nothing that can replace just in those those like in-person interactions. I like if we were a different society, I'd be like, oh, this is a great opportunity to <laughs> re to like rethink how we like education. But like mm-hmm. every like yeah, but people are trash. Too specifically, though, you think no, you would... too specific. Think of it. Think of it just for a second. Just think think on the large scale. Do you think that? 
teenagers in the ice age like you think that they were just like well i, I can't handle this so like i'm just gonna cl- clog the teenagers in the ice age yeah, were, clubbing, what? were clubbing exactly. each other over the head yeah they were like exactly. let me instead of using this rock let me develop a bow and arrow so i can shoot you from a distance that's my, what they were doing my, the ice age. They rode that's, that's, <laughs> my, my, that's a terrible analogy you're literally talking about oh, that was my first attempt okay Jesus. <laughs> Talking about 2020 compared to <laughs> hundreds of thousands of years ago, not not the same, not the same in the slightest. No, the the, the last also, comparable time would have been the Black Death, the plague. And, and I don't I don't know enough about or, that. Or the Spanish flu, or whatever. But like, I oh, yeah, but that. but the thing is, like, the society has like morphed so much. Like, and like honestly, probably this is probably the first. I guess even for us, like aside from 9-11, this is like the first um, widespread crisis of most people's lifetimes. No. And yes. I mean, like, since 9-11, What about yes, 2008? I, like, I guess financial crisis, yeah. I guess, I, but I think- uh, I mean, if you were already poor- then Not on the mean, same- but yeah, like, it's not on the same financial, level, I guess. Financial crisis is different, but like, I'm talking about like, I don't know. Like you, like you were forced to change your lifestyle. Like 2008 might not have forced you to change your lifestyle. It was, it was yeah. a crisis. And like, I'm saying like, I don't know, like if you were dealing with, I don't know, maybe like World War One or Two, where you were worried about the threat of maybe, um, for like being attacked like you're worried about the country being attacked like you're the country was at war or something like that maybe that's something different but like for most people yeah like like these last 30 40 like 50 years have been um like the nation hasn't faced the kind of like threat that like it's been generally comfortable obviously I'm talking about I'm, I'm a black man so i realized that like lives are different for other people but i'm yeah. saying like the you idea think, like like 10 20 years from now when like people look back at this they're gonna be like i mean obviously it's gonna be in the history books or whatever but you know yeah. how like 9 11 like hardened us do you think people are gonna have that same feeling like or like when people the vietnam war like all these wars are always like what changed people like what you're referring to mm-hmm. i really don't think covid is that and this isn't to make light of it, but like I don't know if COVID like hardened me. Like I had to stay inside and wear a mask. Like that that to me is on I a different know. level. I don't know. People uh, I mean, over what? I'm I'm a, let's just like so in a was it six month span, uh two hundred thousand plus people have died from right. an unknown, still um very untreatable virus mm-hmm. that is still hasn't been figured out yet and we'll, which we sucks. Have one. which we'll, sucks we'll continue but to spread it's not it's not something that to like be proud of getting out of the other side like, no I, I was just saying it's something to be proud of i'm saying it's just the way people handle it um like the the idea of this threat that there's this, like this virus that um doesn't discriminate and can like affect and can like regardless of your age or health mm-hmm. can take your life is something that like i don't know that most people haven't had to deal with hadn't like the like a crisis of like your livelihood isn't something that our generation or probably even the generation before have like had to worry about where i'm saying others might have i guess i want to agree with that yeah and it's not, I don't know, it's not it's not something I'm saying it's like as a badge of honor. I just think it's interesting because like you were talking about how people were saying like, oh, when COVID's over, I think I'm saying that because like people, this is like, people haven't faced like crises like this prior, mm. then they're like, they're expecting like this luxury and this ease of life, this comfortability to just continue. So it's like, oh yeah, we had like a little virus for a little bit, but it'll be over. It's just like the flu or whatever. But like this could be, this may continue to be a like serious crisis that we're going on for who knows how long. 
I think it define it'll define us. It'll define younger people. But I mean, if you talk to old people, I'm sure that or older people, they'll they'll say it's not as it's not as relevant. Like they've they've survived stuff. They haven't have they like you said like have they gone through this specifically? No, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. But they grew up if they grew up in the Cold War era, you know, they grew up or you know um, were close to 9/11 in some way. Like that's how that right. that defines them. That's what I'm thinking about the bragging rights, right? Like I, if I'm like, if I'm like, if I'm like 70, 80 years old, right? Like, and I'm talking to my kids and I'm like, listen, I, I had Afghanis raining planes down on my head, son. Like I was there. I lived that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, yeah, I had to wear a mask for eight months. Like, it's just, you kind of soft. If that's what you have to live through. It's a little soft. I'm just saying, I get the terror, I get the fear. <laughs> it's just a little, like, you can, that's not, it is like, not soft. Like, Nam, silent Vietnam, <laughs> uh, you know, any world war, that's like tough, like raining bullets, bombs, atomic bombs, like. But crazy even all stuff. that stuff is pe- for stuff that, like, most, like, Americans have didn't have to deal with. Like, Nam is something that, like, people went to and faced. Like, that, like, all yeah. the, like, Still the country, though. the country hasn't faced, like, it necessarily. Like, I'm, I'm, like, the government made it seem like these were threats to your, your very existence as a, as a person, but, like, mm-hmm. they really weren't. Like, Vietnam wasn't going to threaten, Korea wasn't going to do that. I mean, yeah. like I said, World War Two, like, we were, like, the country was attacked, yeah, and, like, World War One and Two were, like, these global conflicts that would have ramifications on us, but, like, I'm just mm. saying, I'm, I'm not bragging about COVID when I'm 90 years old. Oh, so. I, I have no intention, <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah. but I, in in like a good fifteen years, knock on wood, I'm gonna be like, yo, remember COVID? Yo, that shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was good times. Remember you could see anybody smiling at <laughs> grocery store? Yeah. Remember when the poorly made podcast was born? Mm. Oh. <laughs> what was the times? golden days? Good times. Uh I think we're gonna wrap it up right here. Uh anyone have any last sayings, messages, anything you wanna get off your chest? Now's the time. Uh, I was right about the NBA stuff. I'm, I'm what upset. NBA stuff? Well, real quick, what NBA stuff? We talked about the we talked about we had in the prior podcast we had talked about how my I was going to be upset about like the NBA returning because the focus would shift and I the think focus did not shift. But let's not I think argue I've been right proven now. right. Yeah. Next next episode we'll talk about it because nah, we're gonna forget. T- After no, the podcast no. ends, we're gonna keep talking about I'm, this. I'm, I'm gonna write it down. We're not gonna forget. Okay, we're gonna sign off. Uh, happy seeing you guys. Talking to you guys again. Um, follow Poorly Made Pod on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, follow us or subscribe to our channel. YouTube, uh, Poorly like, Made Podcast. Subscribe, share. Yes, all that comment. good stuff. Whatever content okay. creators say. <laughs> okay, that was a little <laughs> awkward. Um, all right, see you guys later.